welcome back to Nazareto's channel. In this episode, we're going to be installing this product right here. And let me show you what it is. I received this package from cartrimhome.com. Link will be in the description. This is, my dear friends, it's the shelf that we're going to install right here. It's a cargo shelf, so you can load items here. And also, there's going to be horizontally, and also we can install it vertically. So if you have dogs and you can have a big animal, we're going to create this like a barrier so they won't jump into the interior. But let's open this package first. Let's see what arrived. So this package arrived last week, but it was very cold. I couldn't install this. Um, everything nicely bubble wrapped, which is good. So this shelf is made from nice aluminum, very strong. Comes in two pieces. And I was looking for a product like this because I have two dogs and I put them in my trunk, but they always try to climb into the passenger compartment. So there's a second part to this package. I forgot to mention you. These like uh, long metal rods. They're gonna connect these two shelves together. So let's open that. So once you unpackage your shelf, this is what you got. These two pieces, these brackets. If you install it vertically, it's gonna hold it. These support brackets, they go on the side of the car on the plastic trim to secure it. There's one piece, another piece. These long metal beams that we're gonna install, they're gonna go one here and one there. Um, I can tell you this shelf is made very nicely. They pay attention to details. Very nice uh, shelf made from metal, very strong metal. This is the thickness of your metal. There's even like a logo here on one end and on the other end you have a logo. Also we have these adhesion promoter uh, napkins, a bunch of bolts and a little manual. That's what I like, it shows you how to install it. Very easy and also a QR code you can just scan that. So this is the one way to install it vertically. And also you can install it horizontally, like this. So that's nice they included the little manual. Well, let's, start, let's start putting it together. To mention there's a 3M tape on, uh, on this bracket right here. And this bracket is gonna go right into here. And it's gonna help be held very good on this <clears throat> plastic trim. Very solid right here. The only thing is you won't be able to use this cargo cover, so you have to remove this cargo cover. I'm just gonna remove it for now. Let's lower our seats. One goes down. Thing, take your isopropyl alcohol, apply it on the tablet. And clean the area. I'm gonna clean this area right here like so. And then move on the other side and clean the other side. Now in the directions it doesn't say which side is this but this is your left side it goes right here a little bracket and this is i install it like this like right here so we're going to peel the 3m tape on the other side use the adhesive promoter and stick it in good this is the adhesion promoter uh preferably work gloves clean this area also here in here that's where the 3m tape is going to stick um the one thing you have to be careful is this adhesion promoter when i applied the trim here a long time ago as you see here there may be a little tiny discoloration discoloration like you can't see it here like right here 
but this product whatever they use this adhesion promoter make uh, the 3m tape sticks very very well so apply some pressure here see it goes all the way to the edge here lines along the trim all right that's good now we're gonna install this side, the right side. I'm gonna go right here. So the reason why you can't use this anymore because you see this bracket covers this hole right here. So that's one negative part. some pressure on this thing stick well good idea also to have a heat gun or air dryer hair dryer just warm up this 3m tape when it's cold outside and it sticks better but it's gonna hold so one piece is installed like this and another bracket installed like this the next step we want to take these metal uh, rods align them with these holes you see there are two holes here and two holes here this one has two holes here and two holes here one a little bit narrow and a little and these two holes a little bit farther apart so as you see here these two are farther apart and these two closer so that's how we're gonna do we're gonna align it like this this piece simply goes down two holes right here and then two holes align them because these two brackets these two metal rods or whatever you call them brackets they're gonna be holding this two pieces of the shelf together. Open the package with the, these uh, bolts. Put one like so. Like this. One like this. There are about 16 of these. And these go on the other side over here. As you see here, I aligned these bolts on, the, uh, on this. I flipped this shelf on the one side and I put all these bolts in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm using a power tool, but you can also use this provided Allen wrench if you want to assemble it. So this side is done if you see like there's a gap here I mean you can release these and like push this together I'm gonna take this this one and also secure it where all these holes are on the other side one two three four five six and these two and these two so we're gonna flip this on the other side I'm gonna flip this over like so and put this metal bar underneath see i put this underneath there are these two holes right here here the holes everything nicely aligns and we're just gonna secure it with those bolts goes another one so we have one two three four five six here and two here all the bolts are here one two three four five six seven eight and these two on the side now i'm just going to use my power tool and i'm going to secure it Okay, we're done with putting all this bolts, everything secured. These two brackets are holding these two parts together. Very nice. And now 
let's go install it in the vehicle. So, with one hand I couldn't record it, sorry about that, but you install the shelf, make sure it's, see this hole right here? Make sure it aligns with that hole right there. No one right there. There and there. Very good. There's another one right there. So there's one, two, three holes that align on one side. One, two, three. All right. For this next part to secure this shelf so it won't be moving around, they want us to use these kind of bolts. So one goes here. You can try it down by hand. That one goes here and here. So I'm gonna tighten it. Very easy installation. You don't even need the manual, it's pretty self-explanatory. One side is done. And I tell you this guys, I am already loving this cargo shelf. It feels very sturdy. It looks nice, I like the finish on it. It does not look cheap. And I like these extra touches here when they cut the logo. That's nice. So tighten it up. And voila. We have installed the shelf. And it's solid. So you can load stuff here. Very sturdy. And it looks nice too. So let me bring up the seats. So when we bring up the seat, nothing is in the way there's little space here looks cool i really like this i'm truly telling you this from this is truthful analysis um very sturdy perfectly matches the interior colors of the trunk this material also, it's, uh, it's not just painted, it feels like coated with something. Very nice feel to it, very strong. Like you see, I'm already moving the whole car with it. Yeah, the shelf is sitting tight. And also none of your items will be like rolling around because there's this like barrier here and a little edge here. Um, it's good, it's very good. And now let's show you how we install it vertically. Because I have two dogs and I don't want them to be climbing up forward. So let's do it. I want to show you the dimensions. So we are about 13 and a half inches from this end to this end. It's about 13 and a half inches. And from this end. Got about 45 inches. And this part, they kind of sticking out, it's about four inches tall. I don't know if it matters to you, but I'm just giving you the measurements. Now, for demonstration purposes, I just got my hanger here, hang it here. I put my carabiner here in this little box. With a lot of space, you can just hang here some items if you need it so this is my uh, gym bag I put it there you can put two small suitcases here you can still close the trunk I like it I like the shelf a lot and it does not say in the manual what's the <clears throat> weight limit on this but I wouldn't put more than maybe 50 pounds or so because this metal these brackets right here these panels, I don't think they'll be able to hold a lot, even though it feels very strong. I'm shaking the whole car, see? It's holding very well. But it's just a shelf, you know, to keep extra, you know, items in the back. 
and when you close it let me show you something when you close it there's this gap right here so if you keep some valuables in the car and now you don't have this cargo cover so it will be visible unless you cover it with some blankets but this shelf looks very nice very nice addition especially for those of you who are off-roading doing stuff this is a good thing to have for that extra storage and this is really nice touch how they cut out the logo on both sides okay guys let's install it uh, vertically and i'm gonna test it out we have to undo these wing nuts called wing nuts because he has little wings we have to undo them very easy installation not hard at all as long as you align this bracket you're good that goes on the other side remove these wing nuts on both sides we have to get this bracket out and flip it around all right so i got it out and horizontally it's going to be sitting like this well i came to a little problem why well, i tried to install it flip it around like this and try to install it vertically <laughs> there's not enough space so this edge right here rubs against this metal so i cannot just install it easily because this corner has to line up here like so see it's a problem so that means i have to take it apart and install everything all over in order to install this shelf um, vertically like this yes you cannot just flip around you have to disassemble this part first take this beam install this beam like so now we're gonna take this part and secure it with the bolts so i secured this bracket this shelf to this piece right here and now we're gonna take this piece and also install it like so. Yes, to install it vertically was a little it's a little bit challenging if you have one hand. <laughs> but it's not that terrible. Um, make sure you got these wing nuts. Tighten them up on this corner here. This one. There's another one. Okay, once these wing, uh, wing nuts are secured, tighten tight on both sides. See here. Now we can go on the other side and secure the other bolts. See here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and the two on the bottom. Make sure these are all secured. Let's start from the corner. have this top bracket align with these two holes and then put bolts on the other side all around the perimeter so these two holes and then 
put the bolts on the other side. As you see, this top bracket also, I threaded some of these bolts and I'm just gonna tighten them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna tighten them with my power tool. And finish the job on others and all the bolts are secured but this is not all we need one more bracket on this side and one bracket on the other side so we have these two brackets left and they'll prevent this uh, shelf from vibrating and moving around so we need to install it like so one goes here and we're also going to use these wing nuts Thing you do you secure this wing nut in this corner and then you go on the other side take another wing nut and start securing from the other side as you see there's our hole right there good Sure, this one tight and that one's tight on the other side and let's move to another side thing on this side take your bracket secure this wing nut first and then you can go around on the other side and tighten this one there one more left okay all right our installation is complete let's bring the seats up both both sides all right now this shelf is installed vertically it's holding pretty solid it's not touching on your interior trim nothing here same thing with these brackets feels very very strong i'm like moving this whole car is moving all right now we have one more test left so um there's this space here well it looks very nice i'm i mean i'm very impressed with how they designed it did a good job but like i said we have one more test this is our final test here got my puppies here so now this one will not be climbing inside into the interior of the vehicle because she likes to do that yeah the dogs are good to go Pups. Now they won't be climbing into the interior of the vehicle. Ha ha. I win and you lose. Ha ha. Very nice uh, shelf and also like a barrier for the animals. Very, very nice. You okay? No, don't be scared. This is a nice new cage for you. Got plenty of space there. If you do carry dogs in the back, or maybe one dog, you can take these headrests off and they will have more view what's going on on the inside, but they will not be able to climb into the um, passenger compartment. Because that dog right there, she always likes to climb through and she gets very hysterical. And now you're in the back. Aha. So yes, yeah, thank you cartrimhome.com for sending me this. This link will be in the description for this product. You guys ready to go for a walk? All right, do you like this cage? Probably not. So our conclusion is this, very nice cage. Very love it. I love the construction of it. The one negative thing, and that's probably the only one negative thing that I have is that you cannot easily flip it around and make it go vertically. You have to disassemble it and obviously assemble in this position. But uh, material is great. It feels very strong. This bracket holds very, very, very good, even though it's a 3M tape. So thank you Car Trim Home for sending me this product. And uh, my dear viewers, I hope you like this video. Please click the link below and you'll be having, you will have a, uh, opportunity to buy this product through my link and uh, see you in the next video don't forget 
hit that bell and subscribe.